Hello and uh, welcome again to our morning devotion insight and good morning to you. And this morning I want to share with you, never left alone. Uh, never left alone. And uh, my text is found in Genesis chapter 35 verses 1 to 15. If you have the time today, you can look through it and uh, read through it. But I'm just going to take verse 3. Uh, it says, I will build an altar to God who has been with me wherever I have gone. You know, this is actually the words of Jacob. And uh, he says that, you know, I've been, I want, to, I want to build an altar. You know, he had so much of experience and so much of difficulty, so much of hardship that he has gone through. And just as when he was coming out and going back to, you know, uh, his land, uh, he says that he wants to build an altar to God who has been with me wherever I have gone. You know, sometimes we don't fully understand uh, some things in our lives until we have the wisdom of hindsight. That means we will never know, you know, what actually uh, happened was for our good or what actually happened um, hard to this. It's, it's kind of like um, you, you can't see from, you know, you can't see uh, E, you know, uh, yet. You have to go through A, B, C, D, and then E, all right? So as as many years earlier as uh, as he, David, as Jacob was fleeing for, for his life, uh, he had a vision uh, in chapter Genesis 28. He had a vision of God at battle. He had heard God's promise to watch over him uh, and uh, wherever he would go. Then later, while returning turning to his own homeland, Jacob again here encountered God and received a new identity. Is found in uh, Genesis 32. Israel, that was his identity. Your name will no longer be called Jacob, but it will be called Israel. Uh, one who wrestles with God. Uh, Israel. You know, there was the time where, you know, um, Jacob was able just to, uh, had a wrestle with God, had a, you know, had a time where he was just able to say, God, I surrender, you know, and uh, yet receive God's blessing. So now, both experiences come together as Jacob leads his family back to battle. You know, he's going back home. He's going back to meet his family for a time of worship and renewal before God. So previously, Jacob's experience was what? Experiences of God were solid, uh, solitary and personal. They were just alone moments. They were just moments where he just communicated with God and, you know, it was a personal encounter, etc. But now, as he's bringing his family back, now he shares the, his testimony of God's faithfulness with his household, uh, calling them to wrestle with repentance and faith too. So what is what is Jacob trying to say? Jacob is trying to say, yes, hey, I will build an altar to God who has been with me wherever I go. So now is my family uh, must understand this. My family must uh, be renewed. My family must learn to uh, feel and understand and comprehend that they also will never be left alone. Uh, never left alone. Are never left alone. So remember, uh, when we go through times and difficulties in our lives, and we might not understand, we have not attained E yet. We are still at A. We are going on to B and then C and then and then we see, wow, you know, the light keeps on coming on and say, oh, now I see God is faithful. Not only to me, but to my family, uh, to my family members, to my children, to my husband, to my wife, to all those that are around me. And that's that's what Jacob's story is. That's where he, he began to see, yes, God, you have never abandoned me. You have never left me. Uh, the moment, the day when he left his home, he ran from his home, ran from his brother, you know, because he cheated his brother of his birthright and he ran away, you know, to his uncle. And yet all those hard and difficult times, God has never left him. You know, how many of us can identify with that? God never leaves us, isn't it? He never left us alone. Huh? So perhaps you, like Jacob, have had a long and roundabout journey with God. How many of us have not, isn't it? We all have roundabout journeys. You know, we, 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 we go round and round and then, and then we are lost and then we are coming back again. You know? So maybe you always sense that God was there. But then in hindsight, you have seen how faithful God has been. Yeah? You know, sometimes we know God, I know you are there. But God, I, I just couldn't see it. I just couldn't see it. But then now, as we are beginning to see, you know, God, thank you. 
that you are with me. Huh? Thank you, you're with me. So in spite of our sins, our scheming ways, God always proves ready to forgive and bless anyone who comes humbly before him, receiving their new identity given by grace through Christ. Amen. So when we come humbly before him, when we come in repentance, when we come say, God, I'm sorry. God, forgive me of my sins. God, I ask that you will forgive me and, and bless me again. And that's what Jacob was doing. God, forgive me. Bless me again. Bless my family again. Huh? So if, if, you have, if you and I have met God and experienced his faithfulness, you know, so are you ready to share the story of His grace again? To say, God, I thank you. I thank you that I can see now. You know, last time, maybe two years ago, I couldn't see. But now I can see, God, you know, you have led us through so much. And yet now I see your goodness. I know that you have never left us. Huh? So let us this morning say, Lord, we invite others to join us in worship and service to this faithful God. Uh, daily in our lives. Amen. So let us be our prayer. Lord, give us a sense of wonder so that we may comprehend your faithfulness to us. Renew us, Lord. Uh, remind us again that you have never left us and you are always with us, faithful from yesterday and today and tomorrow. Uh, God bless you and may we always remember he will never leave us nor forsake us. God bless you.